Geothermal energy is using the thermal energy that is stored in the ground and with the help of a heat pump, providing heating and cooling to the buildings that are on top of the ground. At the Stellar Station, we have installed a shallow geothermal system by embedding some plastic pipe into the retaining walls of one of the shafts that are being built. In this way, we can harness thermal energy from the ground and from this wall to provide heating and cooling to both the station as well as surrounding buildings. So in winter, say, the air temperature is around 10 degrees, but our ground is at 18 degrees, so it's much warmer. What we do is we inject water to pipes embedded into retaining walls, and that water picks up this thermal energy from the ground and comes up much warmer on the surface. Then the heat pump boosted to provide heating to the buildings. In summer, the opposite happens. We take heat from the ground and imagine that you have the air temperature of being around 30 degrees. The ground is still at 18 degrees, so it's, it's much cooler. So what we do, we reject, we dump this heat from the buildings into the ground so that we can provide air conditioning to the buildings on the surface. The Shallow Geothermal Demonstration Project is a partnership between Rail Project Victoria, Joe Holland, CYP and the University of Melbourne. And we have obtained up to 5 kilowatts of energy from just one single pipe. If we were to activate all 69 of just, just one shaft, we will be able to provide all the heating and cooling needs of the station as well as heating to a couple of buildings surrounding the station. We are not only uh, saving carbon emissions substantially, it's equivalent to taking uh, hundreds of cars off the roads every year or planting hundreds of trees every year just for this small demonstration. We can actually harness energy from the infrastructure we want to build anyways. We're really honored to have been now recognized through becoming finalists of the Premier Sustainability Award. I think it is a show in the path for the future of infrastructure towards net zero emissions.